Grazie. But the color of love. Egg me. Um, not not there? Uh, sure, why not? Big uh, I'm good. Okay. This luxurious bit about this whole travel around with the West East things is having stuff cooked for you. Oh, what a treat. Just a champ, what a treat. Say with the Volkswagen crew. Goodbye, Volkswagens. We're off to like normal highway speeds now. <laughs> and we're gonna make our way to the west coast and uh, meet up with some other folks. But uh, I, don't, I just won't look as trendy now anymore. Back to the ugly life. Back to regular camping, no more glamping. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. He even got a shower in. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna stay, Sham's just gonna stay here. He's pooped. He ate too much breakfast. Ran out of dog food, so we just gave him a full breakfast. I think he's, <laughs> he's tired out. Yeah. You wanna go? You wanna go? <laughs> I saw that one coming. Welcome to the Mary Vagel Nature Center. It's uh, very naturey, surprisingly green actually. I'm here with Jeanette, who um, I met through Snapchat mostly. Say hi. Hi. I met her through Snapchat mostly. She does makeup artist work here in the LA area. It's really cool, and I like I like that about my Snapchat. I can just kind of like tune into people who follow the videos. I can tune into like their their lives. Like there's a lot of people's stories. I just like like catching up on all the time. So if you don't follow me yet, you should check me out on Snapchat, and then you know I can see more of the live day to day stuff you're doing. You can see more of the live day to day stuff I'm doing. So. Champ, you're stuck. Oh, how to get that stick amongst all the other sticks. Make sure you get the right stick. <laughs> Thank you, champ. You're good at what you do. Champ, you gotta get out of there. Wait, that's not a pond for puppies, that's a pond for ducks. Zero fucks are given on the champ game right now. He's, he is a duck. Bring it, let's go, come on.
was kind of cool. I've actually been following Jeanette and her work. She works as like a, a makeup artist and she does some really fantastic stuff. And I've been following her on, on Snapchat for a while, mainly because she followed me. So I followed her back and I, I like to do that. I just snap through people's lives. I don't know. It, it, a lot of this YouTube channel is very one directional me creating something so that you guys can watch it and that's cool but I don't get to see you guys so often when I meet people um, they know everything about me and I know nothing about them this is kind of a neat change from that because I got to meet somebody that I actually have been watching her work for a few months now so it was really cool for the last couple hours I've been just like doing some research I've been uh, on the internet like extensively I have a lot of editing to do because I'm going to Baja in like three days so I need to get like all, all caught up on my episodes so that I can post them all and schedule them all while I'm gone because there's no way that I'm going to get internet in Baja I'm just kind of giving up on that entirely in fact like on all social media I'm probably going to go dark for like 10 days and then I'll be back and I'll post stuff about being back on my Instagram and on my Twitter and everything else so that you guys know I'm alive and everything's fine which I will be because it's Baja and it's like super safe and don't worry about it so basically like the next couple episodes I'll probably have already been back I'll already be editing those so um, by the time I edit like by the time I edit and post this I'll probably already be back from my trip so like don't worry okay everything's fine I'm safe if this has been edited and uploaded I'm safe um, but it's also Champ's birthday today he's turned 13 we're gonna make him a really special birthday dinner. And I actually got him a present too, so. He doesn't know what the word birthday means, but he's about to find out. For dinner, I'm gonna make like a pasta. You want a pasta? I'm gonna fry up some of the leftover sausage from the previous couple nights with the uh, Govan crew. So they left me some of the sausage. I'm gonna make that up, get some buns in there. And uh, I think I'll skip on the tomato sauce and the noodles with Champ, but. I will give him some sausage and some bun and a couple other little bits that are good for puppies. So, it's one of the reasons he's made it to 13 in such good shape. It's all the human food I feed him. I swear to God. Like, if he was eating just dog food, he'd be all lumpy and weird and not able to run up mountains and stuff. The adventuring in a van probably helps too. Incredible. For dinner, I'm having a sausage penne marinara with some Parmesan cheese. And uh, Champ is having some sausage, a little bit of the noodles, some chopped up bread. Bon appetit! Okay, Champy. Okay. Go on. Okay. A happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> Alright, you don't have to eat up here. I know it makes you very uncomfortable. We can eat on the floor. Guys, this is why I pay taxes. This is why I own a car. This is why I do adult things. It's so that I can make elaborate meals for my dog. Because I'm an adult and I can make my own decisions. <laughs> oh, man. I'll wait till he's done dinner and then he'll open his present. Champ, how was your dinner? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, pretty good, eh? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy... <laughs> That's a big bone. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, buddy. I love you too. I'm sure he's gonna love his present, you know, after he's done staring at my meal, which I'm gonna eat. I gave you food. He's so greedy. We still love you though. Good night everybody.